hello guys welcome to wix ideas in this video i'm going to show you how to add social share into your wix website if you go to my website at wixideas.com tutorial and you click on any of the tutorials item or tutorial items you're going to find that in those dynamic pages you're going to find a social share that allows you to share this page to those social media platforms. another fun fact is that you're able to click on this icon over here and you're able to copy the url of this particular page now follow me to the end of this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can actually add a social share into your dynamic page and also a free tip that you can use to get your icons into your Wix website all right so before we get started don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also give these videos a thumbs up now you can turn on your notification to be the first to know of future videos so this is the dynamic page i want to be working with and i want to show you how you can actually add a social share to this page now you can see from here this is my website and i want to show you how i added this i'm going to use this as a reference to how i want this to look so now let's go ahead and add the elements that we need first of all you can see we have a box and we have these social icons here so the first thing i want to do is to add a box element now this box element is going to hold all my social shares so go over to the add go to your box and then you can drag and drop any of the boxes that you want now you can go ahead and freely style this the way you want it to be all right so i'm pretty happy with the style i have right now and the next thing that i want to do is to start adding my social icon now i have already downloaded these icons that i need and to add them into the side i'm going to go over to the media here and here i can see my recent upload so i can just simply drag and drop this into my website and then from here i can just drag it into this box element so here i'm going to go ahead and customize this element and change it to the color that really really brings it out so as you can see it's beginning to look nice so i'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the icons into this box awesome so now i have added all the icons that we need on this page and the next one that we're going to do here is to add this box that holds a button element so because of the context of this video i'm not going to go into all the details of everything here but i'm just going to show you an idea of what you can do and how you can achieve this social share so now from here i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this box i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to right click and then duplicate i can drag this down and from here i can delete the icons all of the icons here and make sure that the only thing i'm going to add here is a button element so a button is the one that is here allows you to copy and shows you this tutorial url has been copied so let's go ahead and add a button element that is going to help us to achieve that all right so this button element can be added onto this box and we can drag that just way across this box and then from here we can change the layouts and we can align this to the left and then we can go ahead and change the design because this kind of looks quite big so let's go ahead and reduce the font size so the size can be anything it can be 15 pixels so i'm going to make mine to be 15 pixel uh, bold italic i think that works i'm going to reduce remove the characters spacing to zero and i think that is looking perfect now from here we can decide to change the background of this button so that it kind of stands out from the other one um, i think we can go with a different color perhaps and we can also go ahead and change the background of this button element so that it doesn't just look that way we can change it to a white color change the text over here to a black one and then another important thing that we can do is we can make the hover to be the same as the regular so click on this icon to apply design to your hover once you do that your hover and your regular are the same styles all right so this is quite an amazing tip here and then we can go over to the layouts and i want to push this text a little bit to the right so here we can unlock these and only apply the padding to push the text to the right now that is looking fine the way i want it to look so for here we're going to go ahead and make sure that this box element is collapsed on load so when the page loads you want to collapse this so it doesn't show unless the user clicks on this button here all right so to do that we're going to go ahead and turn on our developer mode which allows us to write code and utilize velo functionalities so from here we're going to enable our developer mode and what we're going to do next is to click make sure that we clicked on this box and we're going to collapse this element 
and then to the part that is going to require us to write the code we're going to start naming the ids or changing the ids of our elements so that we know what we're working with inside of our code section now from here this is the facebook share so i'm going to go ahead and change this to facebook share now I'm going to go ahead and do the same for all the elements that we're going to be using in this tutorial. Amazing. So now I have renamed all the elements. So this is Facebook share, Twitter share, Pinterest share, LinkedIn share, URL trigger, URL box, and URL button. All right. So this is what we're going to start doing now. We're going to start now to create the functionality that allows us to actually share. All right. So now we're going to maximize our code panel. And we're going to need a very important library to achieve this and the library we're going to need is the wix location so let's go ahead and import this library which is called import wix location now the wix location is going to help us to get the url of the page that we're currently on now once we're done we can delete all of this comment and from here we can start to add the links to our social share icons the first icon that we're going to add our social share to is the facebook now we're going to click on Facebook. We're going to bring it right over here. We're going to copy the ID of our social Facebook social share and we're going to add it inside of our ready function. And from here, we're going to use the Wix selector to select that element, which is the Facebook social share. So now we're going to go ahead and use the selector and add our ID for the Facebook share. And we're going to add a link to this so that the link is going to be equal to and we're going to use the template leader route to add a url to it now i already have a url in a text file as you can see i have the url for the facebook reddit twitter linkedin pinterest flipboard and telegram all right so let's copy the facebook let's start with the facebook i'm not going to be going through all of these but i'm going to show you how you can actually add the most important ones to your site all right so facebook let's start with facebook let's add our facebook url here and as you can see we have this section right here the, that says the url now the url of the page is being held in the wix location so what we're going to do is we're going to call a variable called the site url and the site url is going to be equal to wix location dot url all right so now this has given us the url of the site so this is now officially the wix location url now inside of this brackets here we're going to go ahead and delete that section we're going to go ahead and add a dollar sign and we're going to add our own curly braces and then add the site url inside of it so officially the facebook share has been enabled and now we're going to go ahead and test this out and see how it actually works all right so now i am here in the live page of the dynamic item page and when I click on the Facebook, you can see that it has carried on to share this item. I'm going to log into an account to show you how this works. Now I've just logged into my account. And as you can see from right here, it has sent the link to Facebook. So this is the image, the featured image. Let's go back to the main page. This is the image, the featured image here. We have the name. We also have the description so it carries everything in, inside of it to share on facebook now if i click on post on facebook it's going to be shared on facebook all right so this is the first part of the tutorial which is adding a facebook share and now the next part that we're going to be adding is the twitter tweets now we're going to add a tweet to it so now let's go ahead and click on our twitter we're going to do the same thing that we did for the facebook so let's just go ahead and copy this uh, first part and we're going to go ahead and paste it onto the next line but instead of facebook share we're going to call it the twitter share now the twitter share is already named just in case and then we're going to also use our template leader row to also hold the url just like the facebook now let's go back to our list of url social share urls now from here we have the twitter let's go ahead and copy the twitter and then we're going to go back into our page and inside of our template leader route we're going to go ahead and paste it in now we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did for facebook inside of the url brackets now let's copy this section that we added firstly on the facebook copy that section and then we're going to come over here and just simply replace now the one for twitter has also been accomplished now let's go ahead and continue with the one for pinterest and then we're going to continue on to the last part we're going to also copy this section so that we don't have to write that all over again go to the next line paste it in you can copy the pinterest id and then we're going to select that and we're going to add our template leader row we're going to go over to that list again 
uh, talking about the Pinterest. So we're gonna go over to the Pinterest. I'm uh, gonna use the Pinterest URL, which will create a Pinterest or a pin. All right. So here you can see it's almost exactly the same things that we are actually doing. So we can go ahead and copy again this uh, section, which is section for the URL of that particular page. Now let's paste that in. And the final social share we have is the LinkedIn. So let's go again and continue with that let's copy this section go to the next line and then here we're going to copy the id of the linkedin we're going to go back to the selector here and paste in the linkedin id and then from here we're going to go back to our list of social share urls so we're going to copy this one also and then we're going to go back to our page and we're going to add it inside of our template URL. as you can see they have about the same kind of flow on how you add url so let's go ahead and replace the url there and now we have officially finished adding all our social share and the next step is to show you how to copy the url of the page now let's go to a dynamic item just refresh this and then let's just take a look at how these social shares work for the rest so this is twitter now as you can see it has the url here and we need to log in in order for us to go ahead and share this tweet uh, but i'm not going to log into an account right now this actually works so you can actually go ahead and test it in and see how it works for you let me know in the comment section if you need any assistance or if this doesn't work for you all right so let's go back to where we're going to be triggering this button we're going to click on this url trigger here we're going to copy this url and then we're inside of our already function i'm going to add a comment and say trigger url box and then once we're done we're going to add a selector to actually get if that button was clicked so inside of the onclick function we're going to use ternary operator to check if the box is collapsed now the box we're talking about is this one right here so click on that box which is the url box copy the id again and go back inside of our onclick function we're also going to use the which selector to add that and then we're going to say if this is collapsed so we're going to use this one if it is collapsed which is true and then if it is collapsed what we want to do is we want to expand it so let's copy that id again paste it here and say we want to expand it so else if it is not then we want to collapse it so let's go ahead and copy this section and collapse All right, so this is just all it does. We just want to use a uh, tenary operator to check if the box is collapsed. So if it is, we want to expand. If it is not, we want to collapse it. So let's take a look at how this works. Let's preview and see if this works. All right, so when you click on this, it's going to expand. And when you click on it again, it's going to collapse. All right, now the next thing to do is to add the URL of the page inside of this button and also add a copy to clipboard for this. Now let's go back to our editor. And next line we're going to add, we're gonna add a comment, add URL to button label. All right, so we're gonna click on the button. We're gonna go over to ID here. We're gonna go over to the ID. We're gonna copy the ID. And here we're gonna go ahead and add the ID. And inside of the label, so that is wrong, this should be lowercase. All right, so inside of the label dot label, so here we're going to add the url of the site which is right over here so copy this site url here and then paste it here and then we can close that now once we preview we can also check to see if that was successfully added when we click on this you can see that the url of the site has been successfully added onto the label now this is going to help the site visitor know that that is a url all right now once we are done displaying the url of the site on that button element the next thing we are going to do is we're going to copy to clipboard we're going to copy the url to the clipboard that is we're going to copy it to your to your device so that you can paste it anywhere on your device as well all right so now what we're going to do we're going to need a special kind of library again which is called the wix window so i'm going to go ahead and import the wix window now the wix window does a lot of things but one of the things that it does is to help you copy to clipboard and that is what we're trying to achieve right now so what we're going to do is we're going to use an onclick function for that button element now once we click on that button we want to copy it to the clipboard 
so we're going to use the on click function of the game all right so inside of on click function we're going to say wix window dot copy to clipboard now we have this function and the clipboard what we really want to copy inside of the, the clipboard function is our site url so just go ahead and add the site url now this is basically all you need to do so let's go ahead and preview this site page and see how it works and when we click on this it expands and we copy this it's being copied to clipboard now let's uh, actually test this out on a live website but let's paste this in as you can see it has copied the url of this page so i'm going to show you another example of how this works all right so here let us check out a live example let's choose an item that we're going to copy let's go to a festive cake for example and then we're going to click on this and then we're going to copy it now once you copy you can paste it in here as you can see that's copy the festive cake now uh this feature that allows you to copy and it tells you tutorial uh, url has been copied and then after a few while it shows you the site url again is a function that we're going to arrive at next all right so now let's do that now once your item has been copied we're going to use the then method in order to indicate what happens next and for me what i want to do is what happens next i want to change the label of my button element i'm going to copy this i want to come into my dot then method and i'm going to change what this says i'm going to say that url or let's say recipe url copied all right so you can tell it anything that you want to tell it all right and then once this is done we want to set a timeout and the timeout is going to be here so we're going to use the set timeout function and after one second we want to change it back to what it was so i'm going to just copy this all over again and i'm going to bring this just right here now let's bring this right here and now let's preview this and check what it says once you click on that button it's going to copy the site url then it's going to change the label to recipe url has been copied and then after one second it's going to change it back to its original url so let's take a look at that and see if that actually works all right now we are here on our live page and as you can see when i click on this it's going to see recipe url have been copied and after one second it's going to go back to the url of the site so you can also do that again to see if it works now this is a very important user experience that is very important for your users to know when an item has been copied it's a feedback that is very necessary and now you know how you can add a social share to your wix website how you can copy uh you cite url to your clipboard and also share it anywhere all right so i promised you a tip at the end of this tutorial and the tip is going to be how you can download any of these icons on flat icon and how you can convert them to an svg now knowing flat icon you have to pay to use or download the svg file so let's search for the first one which is facebook now let's say you want to download the facebook icon not the image just the icon and you come over here as you can see you need to pay before you can actually start downloading the svg just go ahead and download your png file now once you have successfully downloaded your png file you can go over to a website called conversio.co now this website has no affiliation with wix idea this is just a tip i wanted to share with you to make your experience with wix very very easy now go ahead and search for png to svg and from here you can see we're about to convert our png file to an svg file so drag that your file and paste it onto the site as you can see the size is only 15.7 kilobytes and that is very small enough not to slow down your website so go ahead and convert and once you're done just in a few seconds it's going to convert your png to an svg and you can go ahead and download this and add it onto your wix website and you can also go ahead and customize the design all right so for example let's go ahead and add this to our website as you can see it has been added as an svg file you can go to design and you can change the color to anything that you want it to be so i hope that this tip is going to be very useful for you if you're looking for a very fine design or style for your social share you can go over to flat icon and you can search for thousands of icons that you can use that are currently in png but you can also transform them to svg using this tip all right so thank you very much for viewing this tutorial i hope it was very useful don't forget to go to wixideas.com tutorials and you can find tons of tutorials and you can copy the code and use them for free all right thank you very much and see you in the next video